And we, uh, this is a, a kind of a clergy segment uh, where we're uh, bringing on some of the, uh, the, the, the men who lead uh, parishes. Oh, and Deacon Matt's going to stick with us. All right, you've got, two, you've got a double segment with you. So Deacon Matt's going to stay with us. Uh, loan officer at my mutual from Farmington, uh, New Mexico, and also a deacon. Yeah, and uh, Deacon Matt, we often talk about discernment to the priesthood and how does a man feel that he's called to the priesthood or a lady to the religious life. Uh, you know, it's probably at least one man of whatever age listening right now thinking, you know, I don't know if God wants me to be a deacon or not. Maybe I should look into that. What would you say or how did it, you know, in, case, in, in Deacon Pat's case, he was under a tree and God kind of spoke to him there. But how does it ha happen for, for well, other, other folks? You know, it was really interesting for me. Um, I never had a burning desire to, to become a deacon. That was never yeah. really on my radar screen. But I always felt that God was calling me to some higher level of service than what I was, what I was giving him. Yeah. Um, and a, a fellow deacon um, asked me to consider the diaconate, and I did. And it was not something that I had even the remotest interest in mm -hmm. at that time. Several years passed, and he, he asked me again, and I've learned through my maturing in my faith that when God knocks on the door, that I need to open it and listen and mm -hmm. answer. And so I decided to uh, pursue the, um, the diaconate with regard to discernment. Uh, not that I was going to become a deacon, but I'll, I'll take a look at it, right. and I'll continue right. to walk through the door as long as it's open. And that door just stayed open until one day in about year, my fourth year in formation is when it really hit me that this is really where God is calling me. And he's got something for me to do, a job for me to do. And it was through the diaconate. And so I suddenly became really interested in, in the ordination. And now looking back, I can't imagine not being a deacon. Yeah. As Deacon Pat said, you know, we have a lot of different things that we are called to do. And our, our call to the diaconate permeates all aspects of our life. I'm not a deacon on Sundays and a, and a my mutual employee on Monday. I'm a deacon always yes. and, and that goes into each part of my life and for that I'm thankful.